Hey YouTube, what is up? It's Minty again, back with another weird video, but this time we're going to talk about keys and the changes that are coming. Obviously, we don't know what changes, but here are my thoughts. I was talking about keys with my friend for quite a while, and uh, we had numerous discussions, and he has one hell of an idea. Great idea, to be honest. But uh, I want to say one thing that I noticed after the updates and stuff, I will show you in a second, that I think maybe is going to be the change, I'm not sure. So hear me out, it's basically what I think, this door at the exit, as you can see, it's, it's a bit odd that they just put a random door with padlocks in there, so I think this has to do with the changes that will happen with keys. You can see there are two padlocks and a chain around one of the padlocks, obviously the handle. So my guess is that the keys are gonna have to be found maybe, you know, and uh, you got a chance to fiddle with the locks and maybe something like that or lock pick or whatnot. But it will take obviously a, a time to do it, like opening a chest or something. Which would be would be quite interesting and everyone would know where, you know. So let me know your thoughts on uh, on that gate door thing, the padlocks. Because I'm kind of interested in that. It is a bit weird for me. So anyway, we're going to move on to what my friend was suggesting. He had a great idea what they could make, you know, that would make it quite interesting. So what he thought was about having five padlocks and the hatch spawned already from the very beginning. Uh, four keys, one per each survivor spawn and only that survivor can find their key. After five gens are done or one survivor left, a fifth key will spawn for someone to find for the fifth padlock. To me that sounds like a great idea because not only the survivors will be able to do gens and if they can actually go and look for keys, for their key. So uh, you find your key, you go over, you unlock your padlock. Obviously they need to add some time on it and the killer, will, will, no one will know where your key will spawn, you just have to find it. Make like a little notification noise, slight noise so you can hear it or something. Like those glyphs that we had to do something similar and uh, yeah and then build up if you have all four unlocked you know by the time you die when then you do the gen all 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 of you can escape if you find the fifth lock the key the, sorry the fifth key well to me it does sound quite fun I don't know about you guys but you know you can always give your thoughts in the comments let's discuss about this because it's kind of interesting to me I'm not a big fan of keys anyway, like they are now. It's nice to find them in the chest at random, you know, like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna search through, just through the chest, you know, last survivor left. Oh, look, key! You know, so it's it's a good reward, but bringing in a key, I'm not a big fan of it. It's just, meh, I don't know. So yeah, it was a quick, quick little video, you know, about my ideas with well my thought on the key change with the exit gate thing and uh, my friend's idea that would be kind of fun so you know anyway uh please please comment down below and then uh, let's see everyone's thoughts thanks again for watching and i will catch you the next time see you later guys take care Bye-bye.